Hello friends, and welcome back to another episode of my Pokemon Black 2 Nuzlocke. On the last episode, uh, you know, just the, the same old, same old, more essential members of my team died. You know, what, what, what are you gonna, what are you gonna do, right? Like, how, how can you even foresee that at this point? Are you fucking serious? This guy fights me every time I come in? That's actually not a terrible thing, because it seems like from last time we know that, we know, um how we match up against him, and it seems like we match up okay, at least, using um, the specific Pokemon that we had. So, um, I don't really want to use Frank here. What does Frank even have again? Uh, yeah, I don't think I want to use... Well, we'll try it, we'll try it. How much does this do? That's the main thing that I'm scared of. Okay, that was a crit, so I'm actually an okay spot right here. Um, yeah, okay. Uh, I can try, I can try. I can definitely give it a shot. Uh, let's go with Bubble Beam. Alright, so if this doesn't crit me, should do not that much. Yeah, okay. So Frank can actually take on Tranquil by himself. Using the Aqua Ring regen. Well, Aqua Ring regen's like nothing, what the fuck? So, Frank has gone to the point where he can 1v1 some, some folks. You know, he can body some dudes at this point. Which is pretty good. I'm pretty pleased with that. So we're going to Feather Dance him, actually. Just so that this quick attack stops chunking me like this. Jesus Christ, calm down, Tranquil. This is pretty much going to be Frank's game plan from now on, is uh, just kind of, like, just kind of be a, like, a, a, a tank. Like, just just sit in the front lines and just, just take it from whoever wants to give it to him, you know? And uh, I think that's fine. I think that's, uh, that's actually like a fine purpose that we were missing from our previous lineup. Alright, not bad, not bad. Yeah, so in total the air cutter does 11 damage after everything. And if he uses quick attack it should do way less because I lowered his attack by half. So that's pretty good, you know, a good, uh, a good support character, debuffing the opponent, you know, slightly buffing up yourself, making it so you can take on enemies pretty easily. Yeah, speed fallen, I like it. Well, it doesn't matter because I'm faster than him anyway, but, you know, you know, better better than nothing, I suppose. Look at that, Frank took on the Tranquil with no issues whatsoever. You know, I, things are starting to look on the up and up, you know, like, I, I was I was pretty down on myself during the last episode, I have to admit. Uh, you know, not that down on myself, like, I, I'm aware that things are, with enough grinding, anything is possible in Pokemon. But, uh, it, it's looking like... We, we have at least a few usable members, you know, I was pleasantly surprised by how well, uh, how well, what did I name Zorua? I, I didn't name her, right, because it's, a, uh, it's not my Pokemon, so I didn't get the right to name her. Uh, by how well Zorua, and also how well, what's her face did, what's, what's her face, who am I trying to talk about right now? Um, Bambino, Bambino, Bambino's a dude, I should really remember these things. Yeah, so both Bambino and uh, and Zoro are, are doing pretty well for themselves. And now Frank has reached that that level as well, that level of competence. Like you saw, like you see, this this uh, Fury Swipes is doing literally two damage now, which is which is very very good. I like that. Um, that's a good sign for the future. And I know this thing gives a shitload of experience, so I'm pretty happy with that as well. Also, we're finally reaching the stage where it seems like most of these guys are about to evolve. Oh, excuse me. Which is which is also really, you know, um, yeah, of course he crits me. Um, you know, how else would, would this fight be uh, be fair, right? Um, what was I trying to say? So don't crit me again, come on. Alright, good. So, uh, we're reaching the point where we almost have three usable members. Like, they're, very, they're usable to the point where they can fight on their own, at least. You know, like, they don't need to... Um, like, they still need me to, to support them with items, which is kind of shitty. But once they get past this point where they don't need items anymore, then we're actually in a very good position. And, um, you know, from there on, it's just it's just coasting. You just uh, you just keep on doing it until, until you're strong. And, uh, you know, I know that this isn't exactly the same as, uh, as Oras, where once you hit a certain point, there just aren't any new Pokemon. Because this generation had an all new set of, uh, of Pokemon, they made it so um, pretty much the entire way through you're going to be encountering different Pokemon from what you were encountering before. Like you see, even now, a lot of the stuff that we're encountering is uh, is quite different. Like a lot of it is still the evolved form of things, unfortunately, but um, 
the other stuff is, is all pretty new. Like, I know that there's going to be Litwick coming up soon. There's going to be, like, Golurk, stuff like that. You know, some ghost types, some psychic types in the future, maybe. Uh, so I'm, I'm excited. I'm, you know, I'm, I'm going to be cautiously optimistic about our future in this run. And, um, yeah, I, I hope that, that you guys have uh, at least had some sort of, derived some sort of entertainment from my, my failures, from my, my trials and tribulations here. Yeah, we're just gonna, you know, get paralyzed as usual. I don't even know if I want to cure this anymore, because it seems like the amount I get paralyzed is so often. And you can see, now Frank is almost reaching that point where he can one-shot these guys, which is which is excellent, you know, I think one or two more levels and he can one-shot these guys all the way up until, um, up until 35. I don't know if I'm going to stay here until 35, probably not, just because I'm going to, um, go to the next section where I fight those rock and ground type Pokemon. I don't even know if that's the right play, to be honest, because because they have so much defense. Um, they have they have a super effective move against me. I'm actually kind of scared that it just kills me regardless. All right, you know whatever. Sweet Sand, no problem. This is the move that attracts Pokemon to you if you uh, if you use it, which is fine. There's nothing like incredible about it. That was a, that was a crit, unfortunately. So I can't exactly judge um, how strong Frank is relative to those guys. But that was you know I'm still pretty happy with that. But, you know, this goes back to what I was saying last episode about the, the breakpoints. You see, like, doing 99% of someone's da uh, someone's health versus doing 51% is exactly the same. Like, there's no difference between that, because either way, you're still hitting him twice to kill him. So, you know, even if you have a more offensively-oriented Pokémon, if they're not one-shotting them, then it's the exact same as anything else that two-shots them. So Frank being more defensive, you know, maybe he his defenses make the difference between... Uh, a two shot and a three shot, which is huge, right? Because it means that you can get two hits off before you have to heal again. And you see with Expert Belt on, he one shot Swadloon, which is great news. Just just terrific. I always believed in you, Frank. You know, you know, people said that you were just a shitty duck. Actually those people were me. But deep down inside I knew that you you had potential, you know. I, I knew that that lying be beneath that uh that ugly uh that e ugly exterior laid a, a heart of true gold, you know? I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. You kind of lose your mind when you just talk to yourself forever and you're just doing the same task over and over again. Isn't that um, what the definition of insanity is? You know, doing the same task over and over again and expecting a different outcome? Well, I, I'm at, well, in this case, I guess it doesn't apply because I'm expecting the same outcome. I'm expecting to, to level up and uh, it's happening. So, you know, fuck you, Einstein, I guess. Okay, uh, I'll guess I'll use Bubble Beam to conserve PP here. I like fighting these Cottonies mainly because they they don't really they're not very threatening. Okay, you know what? Whatever, whatever, whatever. You paralyze me all you want. Raz yeah, I don't like this Razor Leaf move though because it does like it does more damage than I'm comfortable with. I'd be comfortable with like five damage. It's doing like ten. Uh, okay, how much do I level? Not too bad. I think we'll head back. What the fuck is this? Oh, it's just another encounter. Okay, there was a delay there for a moment. I don't know why. Uh, so crit will not kill me at this point. Yeah, it definitely won't kill. Oh, that's not good at all. Okay, never mind. It doesn't do that much. Still not good, but you know it doesn't do. It's not scary at least. So that's that's the main thing that I'm worried about. I don't want to be scared. Yeah. Okay. No problem. Razor leaf. How much does this do? Ten. Less than ten, hopefully. Okay, it does twelve. I don't like that, but I'm not I'm not too sad about it. And this will not one shot. It does one shot. Okay, this one was weaker, I guess. Not bad, Frank. Not bad. So we're burning through potions like crazy just to save us a few trips to the Pokemon Center. Oh, nice Rosalia. That's what I was looking for mainly. Um, this thing's special attack is pretty high, but it's a it's like a neutral hit. So I think I have. Oh, I'm kind of scared. Less than half. Less than half. That's all I want. That was less than half, but it wasn't by enough to make me comfortable here. Uh, I guess I'll heal up one more time. We're just we're just gonna burn through these super potions like willy nilly. We'll, we'll buy more when we get to the next Pokemon Center. Okay, Leech Seed is fine. I still kill him in the next turn, which is no problem. Yeah, yeah, you know, sap it all you want. So we're actually close to one shotting Roselia's even, which is which is quite nice. I like that. I actually think keeping Frank paralyzed is a good idea here because there's a lot of, you can see, like everything's trying to throw status at me. 
So, um, you know, Paralyze is probably the least debilitating out of all of them. Like, I get a 50% chance not to be able to move, but these guys aren't really touching me too hard, so I'm not I'm not too concerned about it. Uh, okay, Swadloon, once again, Aerial Ace, one-shots them, I know this. Seven PP left. So, once Aerial Ace is out of PP, that's when we're gonna go back to the, the Pokemon Center. Alright. Yeah, so, you know, that's more damage than I would like, but it's not more damage than I can take. Which is the important part here. Nice, 27. We're again there, we're again there. Air Slash. Oh, I do want Air Slash. Air Slash is base... It's more than 60, right? 75, not bad at all. So Aqua Ring um, is a lot shittier than I thought it would be. It does, like, way less damage than I thought it would. I thought it would do, like... Sorry, it heals much less than I thought it would. I thought it would heal like, you know, 5, 10 HP. I guess 10 would be kind of ridiculous. I thought it would heal, um, like, a little bit more is basically what I'm trying to get at here. And uh, it heals way too little for me to feel like it's worth it. So we're probably just gonna um, stick with Air Slash. Air Slash is a great move. It's the best special type move that you can have, basically. There are ones that are stronger, but they're all, like, very low accuracy, like... Uh, like Hurricane, I don't know if Hurricane's even in this generation. No, it must be, right? Because it's the it's the signature move of Tornadus. And um, also, um, there's other shit like Arrow Blast uh, from Lugia. But you know, obviously, we don't we don't talk about Lugia's moves. That's not that's not really a fair comparison. Okay, this is a, a good test here. How well can I take on a Lipard? Uh, a level 24 Lipard, actually. At half health, I don't think even a crit kills me. I should have Feather Danced first, this was a mistake. Uh, okay. Bubble Beam does how much? Let's take a look. That's not a good amount, I'm not really happy with that. We're gonna switch out because I don't really wanna, you know, I don't wanna fuck around. Like, I think there's no reason to, like, torture myself with this. Uh, knowing that there's Lipards here is pretty good news for uh, Bambino though, so I will definitely take that into account. I like the Pokemon AI, not knowing that you can't use Fake Out on not the first turn. Yeah, so it gives about 600 experience, which is which is good, which is actually really, really good. So I'm definitely going to level up Bambino in this area. Um, maybe I won't, actually. Maybe I'll level it up in, like, amongst its peers. No, that's kind of scary, though, because those Bambino also know Jump Kick, so they can, they can fuck me up just as well as I'm fucking them up. Uh, I think around like the 30, the 30 to 35 range is when most of these guys evolve. They're only like single evolutions, but once they all evolve, uh, we're gonna be in much better shape. Like we'll be in a much better position just because their stats are gonna get a huge boost. And that's really, that's really all we need from them. Uh, yeah. And then um, once we get these guys up a little bit, you know, they're growing on me a lot. Like actually, when I first looked at them, I... Like, the reason why I put them in the box and didn't level them is because I looked at them and I was just like, you know, I don't want to level up these shitters. Like, why would I want to spend my time, waste my time trying to trying to get this done, right? But the more I spend time with them, the more connection I, I feel. The more I feel like, you know, they're 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 pretty good. Let's let's try this air slash here. Fury swipes, okay. Okay, okay. See, like these Lipards just five hit me every time. Like, what the fuck is that, right? How much does the air slash do? Oh, that was a crit. Okay, I'm disappointed. Uh, I guess I'll just keep going for it. Nice, nice. I like it when he fakes out and fails. That didn't kill. Aerial Ace. Okay, torment me, sure, whatever, no problem. So, let me just actually double check something once I finish this battle here. 660, yeah, very good experience. I'm, I'm quite happy with that. Uh, let me just double check something here. How how much is your special attack versus your attack here? Uh, special attack 31, attack 32. So pretty, basically the same. Air slash 75, air slash 60. So air slash is actually a much stronger move. That's good to know. So we'll um, we'll keep that in mind when we fight those things that we were two-shotting previously. Because I think that with that information, we can probably one-shot some folks. Uh, Alright, let's, um, let's continue on with the air slash train. Fake out, sure, yeah, whatever, no problem. This actually is quite annoying. It's they they do Oh please, don't five hit me. Five hits won't kill me, but if one of them crits, it might kill me? Question mark. Alright, that's it's not an amount that I'm happy with. But it's an amount that I'm willing to accept. 
Alright, continuing on. Nice dodge, nice dodge. Just skillfully dodged. Nice again, nice again. I think Fury Swipe's like 85% accurate as well. Frank is, is a legend. Alright, less than 5. Less than 5. Less than 5. Alright, not bad. 3 is okay. I'm like, 3 is the part where I'm like, I'm not salty and I'm not happy. 2, of course, I'm happy, but uh, anything more than 3, I, I get mad. Like, that's that's bullshit. You don't deserve that shit. Especially 5. Like, 5 is just is just ridiculous. Is this guy willing to fight me again? I guess we'll fight him in a bit. So this is the main test here. I want to see if Air Slash can kill a uh, 21 level 21 Cottony, because we were barely missing the mark with Air... with uh, the other thing. What was it called? Aerial Ace earlier. Alright, and it one-shots it. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. We probably gonna be able to get Frank to 29 this episode. I was gonna say 30, but um, at this pace probably 29 is, is correct. I can't see uh, it going much better than that. I don't think there's a way to remove this animation of like me throwing the Pokeball out. I'm pretty sure there isn't. Like I know that you can remove these animations of like the air slash coming down. I feel like like even though it is much faster to remove those animations, it's just a lot more entertaining to to see them on, you know? Like you get to you get to feel the the visceral impact of each hit. But um it definitely is more time consuming. There's no denying that, but that's okay. You know, I I'm willing to to sacrifice a little bit of uh, of time for a little bit of entertainment value. Yeah, yeah. Can't bore me all, all I want. Frank has actually been really good with the parallax paralysis. Okay, well, you know what? As soon as I say it, but even then, he's still been pretty good. Like, he's been paralyzed, uh, like, less than half, for sure. This is probably, like, four out of five hits, which is great, you know, like, it's supposed to be 50%. Uh, the dice rolls have been going in my favor. It seems like RNG is balancing itself out after those series of bullshit crits that killed my entire party, basically. Yeah. How many of them died to crits? I know, um... The Baconator, for sure, died to an air cutter crit plus a five hit, um, a five hit Fury Swipes from, uh, right before his two hit arm thrust. And uh, Alvida died to a crit rock throw. Uh, Dundee, Dundee 2, I think, didn't die to a crit, he just died straight up. And then Dundee 1 died to, um, yeah, Dundee 2 died to the, the gym, I remember that. That was just my bad. Dundee 1 also just died because he's a shitter. So, yeah, it seems like it's about 50% crits, 50%. I'm just an idiot. Alright. I know Aerial Ace kills these, so we're going to use Aerial Ace here just because it never misses. There's no reason not to use it. 407, I like it, I like it. Give me more Swadloons instead of more Cottonies. I definitely would like Swadloons more. Alright, you know, whatever. No big deal. You don't have to listen to me, game. Let me test this, actually. I think Aerial Ace will be able to kill by now. Alright, don't hit me, dude. Just Consform me. Consform me all you want. How much does this do now? Does it one-shot? It one-shots. Okay. Not bad, Frank. You're, you've definitely hit Escape Velocity here. Seven levels above their opponent. The, the only great thing about uh, offensive Pokemon is that they level way faster because you can start one-shotting things like so much earlier on. So the amount of time you have to commit to leveling them up is just way less. But that's okay, like this is a... Uh, yeah, see, like that was a crit. So Frank is definitely trucking along here, you know, like he's doing a good job. Okay, so we're gonna go heal. Um, yeah, we're gonna go heal. Oh shit, I thought he, he fought me there, I was real scared. Frank definitely is in no shape to, to fight right now. Okay, Cottony, whatever, no big deal. Aerial Ace. Yeah, Cotton Swarmy, that's exactly what I want to see right now. Slow me down, no big deal at all. Good stuff. Nice, okay, good job. Alright, we'll fight this breeder again. I really like that this breeder is just fighting me over and over again. It's really helping the amount of experience I'm getting. So Zorua, you can fight him. Nice, I need to practice more, okay. I actually don't know how many NPCs out there are like this, but this one for sure can be farmed. Oh, this is a boy. His name's Gallon. Gallon's a boy's name, right? Like, I know a guy named Gallon. I don't know anybody else that's named Gallon. This is this always trips me out. I always think that I, I sent in the wrong guy. I'm faster than Tranquil. That's quite good. And a two-hit KOs. Wow. Zoro, you're you're a beast, man. 
Oh god. Of course it crits. Like, just... Oh! Oh! What the fuck? Why is it... Why do I use Fury Swipes? Oh, okay, thank goodness. Why do I use Fury Swipes, though? That was bullshit. Like, I, I was hovered over uh, Snarl earlier. I'm kind of scared. I feel like I should have healed there, but I'm just going to risk it. Alright, you can roost all you want. That's not a big deal. I'm pretty sure that I kill you on the next hit, regardless of this roost. Yeah, I think that that's just barely in range. Okay, sure, whatever, man. You, you do you. do you. Okay, no big deal, no big deal. Snarl. Please, please do enough. Okay, great. Good job, Zorua. Yeah, so because Zorua is a traded Pokemon, um, he does more damage. He, he gains more experience than everyone else. So Zorua is probably going to be one of the easier ones to level. Because, uh, yeah, just for that reason, basically. And uh, it's also quite strong. Like, I think it's probably our highest attack member of the team. It's unfortunate that, you know, he doesn't know any good moves. But what, what can you do about that, really, right? So one of the scary things about jump kick and high jump kick is that uh, when you use it, and uh, you have, if you happen to miss, uh, you actually uh, take the damage as if sorry if you if you use it and they happen to protect on that turn, you actually take the damage as if you missed. So it's very very scary using that move against Pokemon that know protect and detect and shit like that. Nice, nice. Okay, pretty good, pretty good. So that's probably where we're gonna cut it. This uh, this one. This is uh, gonna be the the first of many of the episodes where I'm just going to be grinding shit out. How much HP are we at here? 30 is. Oh no no. I, I'm 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 weak to this guy, so we're gonna run. Okay nice. Yeah. So this is probably gonna be the first of uh, of many episodes where. Uh, yeah, the first of a few episodes at least where we're just going to be grinding out the uh, the levels on the Pokemon. So be prepared to see a lot of Cotney and uh, and Swadloon and, and all those those good friends that we've come to, to know and love. Uh, you know, as usual, if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and comment. I would really appreciate it and it helps out a lot. And I'll see you again tomorrow for another episode. Thanks. Bye.